Hey guys, welcome back to another Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment episode. Let's get into it. Okay. So, need to go this way. Um, what? Hold on, Watson. According to this, they have light and moisture control in some parts of... Okay, I already knew that. Water Lily Greenhouse. Can you walk straight, Holmes? According to... Bro, he is not doing well today. Dry tropics. Hey, yeah, what do you know? Dry trop. I did that. <laughs> well, right. Oh my god. Sherlock is not having a good day today. There is a smell of burning. Oh. The symbol is not from Kew Gardens. The remains of a picture frame. A protective mask. Is there something else I have to hold? Oh, someone set it alight. But it did not burn. The plants were set alight fairly recently. Some have not completely burned. A door handle? Why would anyone throw such a thing in the fire? The door handle to the colonial collection and that of the fireplace are made of the same material. A broom handle was half burned. Cool. Colonial Collection, Palm House, Water Lily Greenhouse, Dry Tropics, Seed House, Ventilation System, Nursery, Director's Office, Cloakroom and Laboratory. A map of Kew Gardens. Reserve. Okay. Object, object of interest. All right. A ventilation system. Okay. A water tank. Locked. Hmm. Okay. Locked. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, I haven't started the timer. Oh, no. Okay, that's not good. Locked. Can you, dude, Watson, out of the face, bro. Locked. Okay. 
Mr. Hamish, can you tell us who holds the keys to the locked greenhouses? That would be Albert, Mr. Dunn's son. Yes, Albert keeps all the keys, and one can only imagine why. What do you mean? Well, he was never interested in Kew Gardens before. And now, all of a sudden, he is trying to act as if he owns the place. I think he wants to take over the management here. <laughs> He'd do better to leave that to me. He has no experience. No, none at all. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Who is Miss Margaret White? Ah, she is the young lady who studies with me. In fact, she large greenhouse. We know. Do you hold the keys to all of these locked doors? Yes, you can have them. But I cannot give you the keys to the cloakroom. The employee's effects are private. I am sure you understand. I actually don't, but... Okay, but... Have I not? Oh. Yes, we know. Tragedy. Goodbye. Thank you, young. Yeah, I think I missed a person. <laughs> okay, Miss Wyatt. French wine, a remarkable vintage. Champagne, Montague Dunn had good taste. Margaret. Newspapers discussing Kew Gardens. Photograph of Montague Dunn and Reynold Hamish. list of the plants that were displayed at the exhibition and later stolen. I suggest that we don't tell Miss Margaret White about this document.
There was a bottle here. It left behind a trace of the substance that pervaded the laboratory. Gold dust? Good heavens. What's it doing here? The gold is almost immune to chemical attacks, so it may be a valuable auxiliary for various experiments. But why would anyone perform such experiments in a botanical garden? Several drops of the substance were spilled. Someone carried this bottle around. Several drops of the... The bottle is no longer here, but it is possible to detect a faint scent. We need a good nose. Wonderful. Okay. Get Toby a waiter. A botany book. This student's book belongs to Albert. Did Albert kill his own father? Locked. Holmes, oh. It does not matter. Open. Oh, the cloak room, I see. Miss White's locker. A draft of the letter that Miss White sent to her parents. Miss White is a capable student. These jewels must be worth a small fortune. A vanity purse. It is of high quality. Martin Hamish's locker. Martin Hamish studied chemistry. Interesting. A review on rare and exotic plants. Martin Hamish has written several pieces. Son. Father and I, Kew Gardens. Up, man, what secrets are behind that? Albert's locker. Young Albert standing with a woman in front of London University. I don't know who that is. Specialist articles on shipyards and ship construction. Albert Dunn has a great passion for shipbuilding and the sea. A rejection letter from the British Royal Naval College. Telling me chemicals 
a sufficient quantity for some serious experiments. A phonograph used for voice recording. Remarkable. Yes, this is quite a modern laboratory. I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. Good job, man. I don't hear anything. Yeah, thank you, Holmes. I figured that out. Martin Hamish's perception of plants. The notion of... A study report by Martin Hamish. And it seems clear from these multiple experiments that plants to respond... Study report. Okay. This is a table for experiments. It resembles my own. Only this one is kept in good order, Holmes. Okay. So, this place is definitely needed. Alright. You didn't see me. You didn't see me, bitch. Run! Locked. These young plants must be delicate if they are kept in the nursery. A thesis written by Martin Hamish. A glasses case. It is empty. This area serves as Martin Hamish's office. Okay. We can see the interior of the colonial collection room from this window. This poster is for an exhibition. This. Okay. Uh. It is a bust. What? What else? something else here. Oh. I am curious if the marble... Here it is. The marble fragment. Hmm. Okay. Well, the seeds of plant species are stored here. Cool. <laughs> Look, Holmes, this charming lady must be Miss White. She's entering the seed house. Open. Good day to you, Miss. You have some very beautiful plants here. Oh, why, thank you, sir. And good day to you, too. But... Oh, I, I do beg your pardon. My name is Dr. John Watson. This is my good friend, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. I am honored to make your acquaintance, gentlemen. My name is Margaret White. Excuse me, but are you Sherlock Holmes, the great detective? Yes, I am he. What a pleasure to see you here at Kew Gardens. Are you working on a case? Yes, a theft of plants that took place here a few days ago after their most recent exhibition. Oh, oh yes, of course. I quite forgot about that. Why? Hold on. You seem expensive. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Passport. What? Okay, something a little sketchy there. What am I missing? Un. It's you. You something. What am 
I'm missing here? You, you. Oh, unmarried. Ah, oh. okay. Oh, it's quite understandable that you might forget about the theft of the plants, miss. After the tragedy that took place here. Yes. The director was a truly good man. It is such a terrible misfortune. Do you work here? Part-time only. I am a biology student at the London University. I attend the same classes as the son of Mr. Montague Dunn. That is how I found my chance to work here for part of my thesis, you see. It is a great honor. Ah. Most of the doors in Kew Gardens are locked. Do you have a key to this room? Oh, yes. Albert gave me a set of duplicate keys. He agreed I might carry out my studies without disturbing him. It is only temporary. How well did you know Mr. Montague Dunn? He was a master, a great leader. I saw him almost as a spiritual father. He had an exceptional nature? Oh yes, indeed. He was always so active, and so optimistic, and very nice to me. Although, he could behave harshly towards his son. Why so? He loved his son dearly, and wanted the very best for him. It made him extremely demanding. Albert, who is naturally shy, suffered because of it. Would you happen to know why part of the clone... No. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip that. Thank you, Miss. I know her answer, None of no. the three people who work at Kew Gardens know... Someone is lying. It is... Well, of course it is. Um... Well, we know he... Uh, we know... The new director had... Uh, the statue thing. Uh, has a picture of the statue. Uh, what do I need to do now? Just go home. Okay, let's just go home, I guess. Do the predictions and whatnot. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. That is not the one I need. Here it is. The Divine Syndicate is not a supplier to Kew Gardens. Besides, there is no address here. That is not... Here it is. And here is the Divine Syndicate's address. Perfect. It is time to find out what they have against Montague Dunn. My archive.
Oh, right. I accidentally put her in jail. Uh, we should probably go and do that. to Baker Street and deal with that? Come on, Toby. Let okay, I'm actually not gonna go to Sea Gardens first because... If I go there, Toby will wait for me in the cab. It's fine. You don't need Toby at the moment. I'm gonna go to Scotland Yard and see what... What's up? Then we'll go to the syndicate. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so do they... Locked. Locked. What? Okay, well... What am I supposed to do then? Whatever. So I made the wrong decision. I'm sorry. I didn't know what it was. If I go there, Toby will wait for me in the cab. I didn't know what would lock her up to, alright? I'm sorry. But... Whoops. Not much I can do about it now. This place is beautiful, Holmes. Its atmosphere is remarkably soothing. Let us find someone who could help us. Yeah, but it's also kind of a syndicate, apparently, so... <laughs> Probably don't want that. Sorry about your Sunday garden. Good day to you, sir. Uh, my name is Shul... I am exalting the sap. A while can you wait? From the trace of elements, and moreover, from the quality of... Therefore, disturbed is most... There. The... the green grand mystic himself. This is me. Who am I speaking to? We are two gentlemen who are extremely interested in the uh, vegetation philosophy that is advocated by this establishment. Listening to you, I am? Oh, it's Yoda. Alrighty, bud. What do you got for me? Make it exciting. Tattoo. Fingertip calyxes. Nice. Palm injury. Acid burn. Okay. You are one with acid, I see. <laughs> hmm. We visited Kew Gardens, and we found your symbols on their flower pots. Coincidence, I am thinking. They would scavenge our refuse. It would not surprise me. It was merely an observation. We should like to take a look around, to immerse ourselves in the wisdom that emanates from here. Hmm. You may say, the divine only true devotees, and to be permitted. Green Grand Mystic. What is the name of our Lord, our God King? Oh, shit. Our God King's name is Triwan, Green Grand Mystic. Oh, la, good. Thank you so much. I pray you to taste of uh, raw sap. Don't I don't. Well, we will. Leave you to your meditation. Ha, thanks, idiot. Now I'm gonna steal all your information. What, what, what's going on here? Why? Hold on, let me explore. Alright, what are you, what? What is there to see? I didn't like that. Did not like that at all. Oh, it's another guy. Okay, alright. You know what? Whatever.
That should be the raw sap that the Greek. Oh, don't eat it. Oh, okay. Hmm. This is rather delicious and of an excellent quality. My word, Holmes. Their sap is like a form of cocaine. That's what I was gonna say, but eh, whatever. I guess that doesn't matter. I'm gonna this touch must it. be tree one. Ugh, the perfume, bro. Okay, can I talk to you? Good you stuff? came to make a donation. Okay, you're insane. This door is locked. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna just ignore the guy for a second. These instruments are used for smoking opium. Nice. I shouldn't have kept be smoking weed. <laughs> what? I thought I saw two things. I guess not. Oh, look at that. They have their own chemical cupboard. This cabinet is full of chemicals. They are the same as the ones we found in the laboratory at Kew Gardens. Mmm. Sauce. That would be enough to perform the most difficult of chemical experiments. Okay, yeah, uh, so these guys have something to do with it. A vast amount of opium. Okay, anything else in here? Object of interest, what do you mean, bro? Okay, anyways. Gonna get you came to make a donation? Glory to Tree One! Okay. Caterpillars. They are raised as food for certain plants. Taking your caterpillars into good. Hope you're happy. A tropical plant. A tropical plant. Wonderful. Oh, what is that? Do not touch. Well, I'm gonna touch it. A trop. A trop. Can I? Can I? Okay, whatever. A tropical. A trop. These three plants are identical to the ones shown at the exhibition. I should. Oh, you just have three. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Fragment of a flower pot. Fragments of a flower pot. The Kew Gardens symbol. Uh, so, it's the, so they took the vases. Hold on. Let's talk to Green Mystic Dude. And then I'll, uh, I'll be done. Can I talk to you still? Do you have friend? None. Not worthy there. That. Okay. Do you have none? Not worthy there. 
Nevertheless, we have seen Kew Gardens flower pots in your yard. How could they happen to be there? What? Our sacred place you permitted yourself to search. Sacrilege. No, oh, really now. There was a theft of plants at Kew Gardens a matter of days ago. And we believe the pots we found here may be connected with it. Please tell us, were you involved? No. Those plants were ours. They had stolen them from us. How so? Uh, their director. Dump, I believe. Done. Yes, that's, that's what I said. He borrowed from us three of our sisters for the exhibition at his green fly infested gardens. But he never gave them back to us. Excuses and imbecility. So we went in and saved them. I see. So, if you stole those rare plants from them, then it means... Ah, I get it. Bravo, Holmes. I think the case is solved. No, we did not steal. We saved. Well, as a matter of fact, we were unable to find our three plants. I beg your pardon. And yet, you took all of the exotic plants from the stand. They had disappeared. It was the least we could do. They stole our sisters, and so we stole theirs. Well, we will leave. What? like partial threat or partial because they were saying the three were missing and those were probably the deadly ones and but what's hard is that almost everyone I've gone to has uh, has scientific stuff but why were there pots there? I don't know. I'll figure it out later, dude. Figure it out later. I don't want to do it now. Okay. Let us take Toby to the laboratory. He will pick up the scent of this mysterious substance. All right, I'm the dog now. Search, Toby. Search. No, bitch. I'm gonna take a nap. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.